<laughs> yeah. All right. Last question. This everyone can answer, by the way. Uh, is there anything large language models and AI uh, can do for um, essentially making some assessments easier? Like, I don't know, uh, figure out something in a database of existing documents and say, probably you have a score of 2.3. Making this stuff up. Yeah, there's there's oh. one, one use case that for which AI can really um, uh, add benefit, uh, at least. And we've experimented. Uh, um, we applied a large language model to interpreting the results from a SAM assessment and come up with recommendations while injecting the context of the, uh, of the SAM model. And it's amazing what comes out of it. It, it really is. I mean, it's, it will not replace us. Uh, and when you use the output of that, you need to be super careful because it will contain hallucinations. But I mean, I'm doing this work for, for a long time, but even I found that some of the, you know, the phrasings and the suggestions from the AI were you know, really inspiring and good to use. So it's, it's a great input to your work as a consultant in creating a report. Uh, a report over uh, the conclusions of your, of your work. It can support there. The danger is that you get lazy uh, and you, uh, you you know you need to finish your uh, your day and you send out the results to the client. Don't do that. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. We are out of time, but I definitely now know what the next podcast is going to be about. <laughs> Some and large language models. Thanks, guys, very, very much. Thank I you. can't say how much I appreciate this. I'm pretty sure that uh, people will really like to listen to this. Uh, and I'm hopeful that you also liked it, uh, the experiences of the others. Uh, thanks and yeah. see you soon. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. This was great. It's yeah, not. Thank you very much. All right, take care. Um,